Hello everyone, in this video we will go over ratio and proportion, a topic covered in class 7 math. So what is a ratio? It is pretty much a comparison of two numbers uh, or two quantities each expressed in the same units. And then uh, one thing to note is that a ratio is always expressed in its simplest form. Uh, divisible to the smallest units uh, and then uh, examples are 1 is to 2, 2 is to 3, 5 is to 7 you won't see a ratio like 12 is to 60 because it can be further uh, simplified in as 1 is to 5 that is a ratio next up is what does a proportion mean when two ratios are equal, they are said to be proportional to each other. So for example, you have uh, you know, 1 is to 2 equals 4 is to 8 because 1 is to 2 is the same as uh, one, uh, 1 times 4 upon 2 times 4, which is 4 is to 8. The next one up is 1 plus x uh, divided by 2 plus x equals 2 is to 3. That is another, another example of a proportion. I think this is better explained with an example, right? Like we did before. So let's look at the example here. We have a sum of $150 which is distributed between four individuals. Alex, Betty, Chico, and Divya. And it's divided between them in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. And we are supposed to find out how much did each of them receive. So how do we go about solving the situation? So we start with um, assuming that the amount received by Alex be X. So if Alex received X and since in um, based on what we've been provided uh, the ratio that he received was 1 then Betty if she received uh, 2 times as much as Alex then she should have received 2x if Alex received x similarly Chico would have received 3x and then Divya 4x so now we have an equation that we can solve so based on the information provided we know that the sum of all the amounts equals 150 so here is our equation x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x equals 150 and that gives us the value of x which is a value of 15 and that's what Alex receives Betty receives 2x which is 30 Chico receives 3x 45 Divya receives 4x which is $60 and do they add up to 150 yes they do and then that means we've calculated X correctly another example you have two numbers which are in the ratio 1 is to 2 and we've been told that if 5 is added to both numbers they turn they are then in the ratio 2 is to 3 and we're supposed to find the numbers so let's look at the first in, uh, set of information that we have, which is that the two numbers are in the ratio 1 is to 2. So the two numbers can be expressed as x and 2x, right? If, the, if we look at the second condition, then we have another equation that we can form, which is uh, x plus 5 over 2x plus 5 gives us 2 is to 3 and that is because they've told us that if 5 is added to both numbers the ratio becomes 2 is to 3 so we write it down in the division notation and it becomes x plus 5 divided by 2x plus 5 equals 2 divided by 3 then we take the cross products and we get this equation 3 times x plus 5 equals 2 times 2x plus 5 
simplifying that gives us x equals to 5 therefore x the first number is 5 and the second number which we express in terms of x is 2x and therefore the second number is 10 there you go thank you very much if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we have more videos coming up for you thank you